How's it going everybody? Open Mango here. Today we're going to be opening up a booster box of Rarity Collection from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, turn the notification bells on so you know when my videos go live, and make sure to share the video out with someone you think might enjoy these openings. Uh, yeah, I've been really wanting to open this uh, setup because, uh, one, I love Yu-Gi-Oh! play Master Duel all the time, and honestly, like, the cards in here, phenomenal. I am, I've been watching a bunch of openings, I barely had a chance to get my hands on these. Uh, they came in a little later for me, so I know you guys may have already seen it, but hey, this is my opening. Hopefully, we can pull that Ash Blossom here today. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get this box all unwrapped and meet you guys back in just a sec. All right, I got the box all unwrapped, and we'll dive right into it. Uh, yeah, I hope y'all are doing well, having a great night, great day, wherever y'all are. Oh man, that looks nice. Just look at that. That display just looks awesome uh this is one of the few booster boxes of Yu-Gi-Oh that i've done on the channel i did the reprint sets and uh the legendary collections uh but this set has like a lot of different rarities in it i think it's seven different types there's like the uh regular super rares ultra rares uh, uh like collector rares platinum secret rare uh 25th anniversary quarter century rares um and two others that I don't know. So um, if I don't know a particular rarity, cause you know, I'm not used to opening so much Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll probably just call it a luxury rare unless I, I know exactly what that rarity is. Cause I know collector rare looks like, but uh, other than that, that's, and obviously quarter century, but other than that, yeah, not sure. Uh, this set has a lot of like great reprints for like the TCG if you play. And I'm really looking forward to pulling some amazing uh, like high rarity cards for my decks that I built. Uh, but we have Alpha, the Master of Beasts. To start off, it's a super rare. Oh yeah, Secret Rares. Um, so another one. Uh, we have Downard Magician, Secret. And then we have, ooh, Egyptian God Slime. Nice. As an ultra, I, I believe. Hey, then we have Celine, Queen of the Master Ma uh, Master Magicians. Nice as an ultra rare, and we have, and this one's another ultra rare. Uh, so like a basic standard pack. Uh, Galaxy has full armor, photon dragon. Um, yeah, I think if you do get like those high rarity cards, uh, you'll get them the la like the last three slots. And there is a chance to pull like a high rarity or like each one of those high rarity luxury cards uh, in the same like three slots. So potentially up to three uh, luxury rare cards. Hopefully we can do that. Uh, I think the most I've personally seen is two, but I'm sure Ruxin pulled it in his like 10 hour stream. So uh, we have a dimension shifter. Ooh, we have Artemis, the Majesty's Moon Maiden. That looks sick. And, ooh, okay. Okay. Dang, I think this is the new collector rare. Ancient Fairy Dragon looks phenomenal. Put that right over there. And we have Tri Brigade Revolt Ultra Rare and hey, a Pot of Desires uh, Super Rare. Nice. I don't even know, like, I kind of want to separate them out by rarity, but, you know, I'll kind of do that in, in a little bit, but we'll sleeve up the luxury rares. Or is this the ultimate rare? The new ultimate rares. It might be the new ultis. Yeah, that's the other secret rare, or the luxury rare that I was forgetting. Ultimate rares are kind of back with a different type of foiling. I think there's, like, platinum secret rares and things like that. Uh, we have Egyptian God Slime as a super rare, which looks... Man, I can't get... Oh, we have Pro Pot of Prosperity. Quarter Century Rare. That looks insane. These are like starlights. Like, so in the 25th Anniversary uh, Legendary Collection, they have like 25th Anniversary like rarity like this, but this one just pops. Holy crap, that's nice. And I think you get three... Uh, 25th anniversary rares in a box so pulling pot of prosperity is phenomenal i won't put that back we have effect failure in the regular rare oh and this is another luxury rare this is the this is the collector rare 
it's got the sparkles and like the triangles uh, on the borders. We have Artifact Lance, Lancia. That looks sick. And then Magician Salvation, hey, for my Dark Magician deck. Still need to like build it out, but. We'll put that there. We'll put the pot though right over there. Man, we're we're like three packs in, and already pulled like some amazing cards. Like holy crap! Yeah, this this set is super fun. We'll we'll kind of uh, go a little bit quicker because I know I don't want this video to be like thirty minutes long because I can just look at these cards all day. All right, we have Pot of Extravagance, Triple Tactics, Secret Rare. Summon Limit Ultra Rare, a Dinkirsu uh, Ultra. Oop. And then we have Spell Book of Judgment as our last super rare. Triple Tactics, also a very great card. Um, run that in my uh, current deck that I'm playing uh, in Master Duel. We have uh, Nightmare Unicorn, nice alternate art. We have Ancient Fairy Dragon as a secret rare. Hey, and then we have another collector rare, which is Small World. Looks phenomenal and a great card. It's a lot of great staples. We have Eldlet, the Golden Lord as the, uh, and this is the alternate art actually, as an ultra rare. And we have Nibiru also, great hand trap, uh, especially for this version of Yu-Gi-Oh because yeah, everybody summons like 30, 40 times, like, and it gets really annoying to play against. Like, you know, if you don't have anything to kind of stop their boards. Now, if they get Baron or something out, it's kind of it's kind of screwed, but. Or any other monster that can uh, negate activations. Uh, we have a Black Wing, Samoon the Poisoned Wing, Effect Veiler Secret, nice. Danger Jackalope, also running like a danger package in my deck. Uh, it's like a branded danger and bestial combination. Uh, we have Danger Jackalope. Inspector Border, looks pretty dope. Uh, as an ultra, and then we have Deco Ta Decode Talker Heat Soul as a super rare. Definitely run into that card from time to time in Master Duel. I think right now the meta is pretty much just like Kashtira. Yeah, if, if you guys play Master Duel uh, or Yu-Gi-Oh in general, let me know what decks y'all are running. We have Small World as a super. Oh, are we gonna get all the pots? Because I think there's, uh, there's Desires, there's Extravagance and Prosperity. If we get all the pots as Quarter Century Secrets, that would be insane. But we have Pot of Desires, Quarter Century Secret Rare. We have Reinforcements of the Army, fantastic OG card used to this day. Ooh, and then we have the the new ultimate rare, Deco Talker Heat Soul. And then we have a Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion as our super rare. Man. Bangers. I think I really like that rarity right there. The, uh, I, I, uh, the new uh, ultimate rares. And obviously like the quarter century secrets are by far my personal favorites. It's just so shiny. You gotta bling out your decks, right? Yeah, and these, uh, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention these packs only have five cards per pack. Uh, we have Eldlet, the Golden Lord Alternate Art Super. We have Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief as a secret rare. Oh, okay, then we have a Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief as an ultra. Then we have Shadal Schism as an ultra, and then a Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon as a super. Not bad. Man, that's kind of crazy. We pulled both secret, uh, quarter century secrets in like the left side of the box already. So we still have one. We have triple tactics. We have fairy tale Luna. Secret. We have cyber angel Benton as a, uh, as an ultra. We have oh mech knight crusadia aver max. Fantastic card in the TCG. Um, and then we have. Call by the Grave, super, also a great card. Uh, kind of a brick at times, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about having Call by, you know, like great to counter like Ash Blossom, Maxi, like any of those hand traps that kind of limit you as a on your turn. Uh, we have Magicalized 
Confusion as a super. Shadal Schism as a, uh, as a secret rare. Borlode Savage Dragon. This and Boral End Dragon, I believe. Or Boral Sword Dragon, like one of those two. Man, I hate playing against those in uh, Master Duel. We have Dogmatica Punishment and a Vision Hero first as a super. Second to last pack on the left side of the box here. Hey, the boy, Winged Dragon of Ross Fear Mode. Now this would also be fantastic in like a quarter, uh, the quarter century rare because it's just iconic, you know. We have Herald of the Arc Light, Secret, Fairy Tale Luna Ultra, Nibiru Ultra, nice. And then Ancient Fairy Dragon as a super. That pack like slid under the right side. All right. Next pack, last pack on the left side. We have Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. We have Wind the Wind Charmer. A secret. Called by the Grave again, but an Ultra this time. A hey, Ash Blossom is an Ultra. Nice. And Predaplan Dragon's Topalia. Also play a lot, like play against this card a lot in Master Duel. Great card, great reprint. Yeah, I know uh, Ruxman, Ruxman's been talking about like, you know, the card values, like for a lot of the cards that already had like Starlights, like decreasing in value or some of the old ones. Um, just that haven't been reprinted in a while, like Dark Law, we haven't seen that yet, but we'll see. Uh, just taking massive L's because of this set. You know, great for players, not so much for, you know, investors, collectors, whatever. But, hey, if you're playing the game, this is amazing. And then another great card for Ben and uh, for ben and Droplet. Super. Oh, there is our third uh, tw quarter century secret, which is the Junk Speeder. I don't think this one's all that, you know, you know, hype or anything, but, hey, we got it. We have a Blue Eyes Abyss Ultra, Winged Dragon of Ross Fear Mode Ultra, and an Artifact Lancia as our last super. Man, it would have been really crazy if we got all three uh, of the pots as quarter century secrets. That would have been phenomenal. All right, next pack, hey, I was just mentioning it and here he is, Mast Hero Dark Law, super. Elder Entity Entis as a secret. We have Deco Talker Heat Soul Ultra, Ghost Bell, and Haunted Mansions Ultra, and then Nightmare Unicorn Original Art as a super. Next pack, we have Tri Brigade Revolt, Code Talker Inverted as a secret, Ancient Fairy Dragon as an ultra. Potavis Extravagance as our Ultra, and hey, a Lightning Storm, also a fantastic card as a Super. That one's kind of a, you know, a very edge case where it's like, you have to have no cards on the field or face-up cards on the field. Let me read that real quick. If you control no face-up cards on the field. Yeah. And there we go, we have an Imperm. Uh, definitely need this for the deck. It, and just looks really good. And it looks so good in like the other rarities. We have Artifact Lancia Secret. Ooh, we have a Lava Golem as an ulti. A new ulti, which looks amazing and such an iconic card. Lava Golem. We have Galaxy Eyes Afterglow Dragon as an ultra. And then Ice Dragon's Prison as our super rare. Yeah, I think like these are definitely like one of my favorite rarities. Like the collector rares are cool as well. And I, I don't know if we've actually pulled that many collector rares. I think we pulled like two. I, I honestly don't know what the ratio is, but hey, I'll take as many as I can get and where the box is willing to provide. We have a uh, Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax Super. Tour Guide, also OG card. Um, and this is a little different. This has the little borders down here. So I think this is the Platinum Secret. Let me put that over there. We have Pot of Prosperity, which we got as our Quarter Century Ultra. Ice Barrier Ultra. Fairy Tale Luna as our Super. Need to keep an eye out for that. Because I don't know if we got some other ones that are like 
some of the other secret rares that are also uh, that rarity. No, it doesn't look like it. That was our first one. Yeah, I think that's a platinum secret, but oh, we'll just call it a luxury rare. So that's another luxury rare card. All right, we have a Rota. Reinforcement of the Army, Dogmatic Punishment Secret, Herald of the Arc Light Ultra. Wait, is this an Ultra? Yeah, it is. Ooh, and there we go. We have a Collector Rare Baron de Fleur. This is the card I was talking about earlier. Powerful card, powerful card. And then we have Dogmatica Ecclesia as our super. Man, we're just sleeving a lot of cards. I don't need to pull out some more sleeves. Let's see. We have Dimensional Barrier. Super. Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon Secret. Looks sick. But uh, not a fan of like um, some of the new rarities for the uh, for this set that have like the Xyz cards. Because, I don't know, just kind of hard to see. Uh, we have Nightmare Unicorn as a Collector Rare. Oh, I almost didn't notice that shine. But that's nice. Original Art Collector Rare. And then we have a Lava Golem Ultra looks phenomenal gonna run that in some decks then we have iris sword soul as our super and i'll do a recap at the end because my god we are i'm a sleeve machine right now with all these hits oh nice we have a chaos space a very playable card we have harpy's feather storm as a secret we have Elder Entity Entis, and looks like there's like a little speck up there. It's on the card. You can see it's actually foiling. Um, but yeah, that's a regular Ultra. Fallen of Albaz. Fantastic card. Run this in my deck as well. And then we have a Cyber Angel Benton. Super. Man, I can't, I just, I, I feel like I need more Ash. I need more Imperm. I need more triple tactics. I need all of them. Uh, we have Elder Entity, Entity Entis. We have, oh, okay, this is, a, a, there we go, another Platinum Secret Rare. Uh, we have Avermax, put you over here. We have number 100 Numeron Dragon. Kind of hard to see like the names with the Xyz. This is what I'm talking about. Not a fan of that. Uh, and then we have, what, what is this? Cherubini. Ebon Angel of the Burning Abyss. Yeah, that was really hard to read. As an Ultra, and then Borlo Savage Dragon as our rare, uh, super rare. Yeah, and the lowest rarity in this set is super. Wonder if Konami will do this again because that'd be insane. Because, like I mentioned, hey, we've got some more Ash Blossom. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, because, like I said, the prices on a lot of these older cards, hey, with Danger Jackalope. Uh, is just gone down a lot. Hey, we got an the new ultimate rare Ash Blossom. Looks nice. And we have a Pot of Prosperity uh, Super. But yeah, like I feel like they can't reprint too much because I'm not a fan of like any TCG like reprinting a bunch of cards over and over and over. Like personally, you know. This may be like a once a year type thing or once every couple of years would be pretty great because it builds a lot of anticipation as well for the set so you know it's going to do well. And uh, you know if you're going to print, you have a couple years to like print, reprint some cards instead of like reprinting them all the time. I know Konami's all about the reprints so hopefully they kind of back off a little bit. Uh, and this is our second to last pack as well. We have Nadir Servant, Call by the Grave Secret, Iris Soul Sword, Ultra, Magician Salvation, Ultra and win the wind charmer super. All right, last pack of the box, which I, I cannot complain. This has been a phenomenal box. Uh, hopefully, we can get like probably like a, uh, I would say I'd want it like an imperm in one of those higher rarities. Let's see if we can pull that. We have red eyes flare metal super change of heart. What oh my god, I forgot this was in the set. This is such an amazing card. But Change of Hearts, Secret Rare, uh, would really love to pull this one in like the 25th anniversary rarity as well. 
Uh, we have pre-preparation of rights. Evenly matched. Also a fantastic card that would love to get that in a quarter century. And then we have Code Talker Inverted Super. Wow, that was that was insane. So it looks like we got a couple of these um, new Platinum Secret Rares. So you get like probably two in a box. You got four of the Ultra, or, or not Ultra Rares, the, um, is the Collector's Rare, the new version of the Collector Rares. And then four of the Ultimate which looks insane and then obviously the creme de la creme the quarter century secret rares and these two pots look amazing and, and and honestly junk speeder looks pretty great as well but man i was hoping we could get all three pots but hey what are you gonna do um, yeah, appreciate you all for sticking around. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see next because we got a lot of stuff coming and we're almost at 500 subscribers. Uh, again, want to remind you at 500 subscribers, we're going to be we're gonna be opening up a booster pack of EX Delta Species. So be sure to stick around for that because for the 500 subscriber special, I want to go big and kind of do something really awesome for you all. So, Appreciate you all. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of y'all's day. Bye.